Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, who's coming toward you in regards to love? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love, please. Who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love? All right, so, ooh, temperance. That's your card, Sagittarius. So, I don't know, you're, you're coming towards your own self, maybe? Who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love? Five of Wands. Temperance and the Five of Wands. Interesting. Why is the Five of Wands here, Spirit? Eight of Wands. All right. Well, there is someone who's coming toward you. We do have the Eight of Wands. So, um, yeah, there's someone coming toward you. But with the Five of Wands, it kind of looks like you're very resistant to it or you're very hesitant to accept it or receive it or allow it to, to come into your life. Allow the opportunity, allow the person to come into your life. It kind of looks like you're very focused on healing yourself is what I'm getting. Um, you're very focused on, you're very focused on yourself, on healing yourself and being kind of like creating balance in your life in your personal life, in your personal energy. All right, let me do a quick um, clarification here. Let me take a quick look at this. Spirit, tell me about this temperance energy. That is the card of Sagittarius. Clarify this temperance energy, please. The strength card. Yeah, like I said, like you're in this very independent type of energy. It's almost like you're isolating yourself. Who's this person that's coming towards you, though? Who's this person with the Eight of Wands spirit? Clarify the Eight of Wands. Seven of Cups. Okay. This might be someone who confuses you. This, this feels like it's someone who you already know. You already know this person and this person, for whatever reason, I feel like um, you, you get mixed messages from them. You feel mixed messages from them. You feel like they confuse you. Why is the Five of Wands showing up here, Spirit? Because this person confuses you, I feel like you're keeping your distance and focusing mainly on yourself. It's like you're not putting your eggs into this basket. You're not completely turning your back on this person, but I feel like you are kind of um, being cautious, being very reserved. Um, you don't trust it. You don't trust this person. It's like you're guarded, you're, you're guarding yourself. Tell me about the five of wands here. The lovers, okay. Some of you might be questioning whether this person has more than one option, more than you as an option, especially with the seven of cups. You might feel like that's not clear to you. You know, you, you know, you might feel like it hasn't been completely clarified in your mind if this person is exclusively focusing on you or wanting to be with you or if they're um, potentially entertaining other options as well. Hmm. 
Tell me more about how Sagittarius feels about this person that's coming towards them, Spirit. How does Sagittarius feel about this person that's coming towards them in regards to love? King of Swords is how you feel. Yeah, like I said, you're a little bit guarded. You're a little bit cautious here. You're not putting all of your eggs into this basket. But I feel like you're interested, though. It's not that you're not interested. I feel like you're interested. It just, it just kind of looks like you need more information. You need this person to prove themselves to you a little bit more. Is what I'm getting. Let me go back to this person. Why is this person coming towards Sagittarius spirit? Why is this person coming towards Sagittarius? What does this person want with Sagittarius? Six of Pentacles is the reason why they're coming toward you. They want a relationship with you. They want to establish um, a balanced and equal relationship with you. Hmm. Uh, clarify the Six of Pentacles, Spirit. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in regards to what this person wants with Sagittarius. Hangman energy. Could be a Pisces for some of you. Yeah, this person is waiting for you to reciprocate with the hangman. I feel like they're waiting for you to, to work together with them. To form this relationship that they want to form with you. Yeah, they're, they're waiting for you to reciprocate. They're waiting for you to like um, uh, give more, express more. Put you like put more effort into the into the relationship or into the connection. Hmm. How does this person um, view Sagittarius spirit? How does this person view Sagittarius, the person that's coming towards Sagittarius? So in regards to how they view you, we have the Three of Swords. So this person um, views you as someone who might be... Um, Healing from a breakup or healing from a separation. They might view you as someone who's still kind of going through a, a healing process or like you're still hurting. You're still being affected by, by something from your past. Something from your past that disappointed you. That's how they view you. They view you as someone who's, who's being a little bit emotionally unavailable with them or emotionally closed off, emotionally guarded with them, but it's because they see you as someone who's like still, still healing from something from your past. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me see what their intentions are. What are this person's intentions with Sagittarius? What are this person's intentions with Sagittarius, please? So in their intentions, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Yeah, it keeps showing up. Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This person wants a serious relationship with you. That's what they want. And that's what they're waiting for here with the hangman. I feel like this person is trying to not pressure you or like rush you. But 
at the same time, I do feel like they're trying to pressure you a little bit with the Eight of Wands. Because they don't want to lose you. They don't want you to abandon them. They don't want you to give up on them. So I feel like they are kind of trying to, you know, trying to like pressure you a little bit to like, to, to be part of this relationship, you know, and to not, to not isolate yourself, to actually um, contribute to the relationship and, and work together with them because they can't do this on their own, you know, they can't form a stable relationship on their own, like a stable commitment on their own. They need your participation as well. I feel like they're trying to be patient here with the hangman. They're waiting. They're waiting for you, but, you know, they do have a limit is what I'm getting. I don't feel like they're going to wait indefinitely. I feel like they have a limit. But I do feel like this person is trying to be, like, considerate and respectful of your feelings and your um, emotions is what I'm getting. I am getting that. All right, let me go back to you. Tell me about this King of Swords energy connected to Sagittarius spirit. In regards to your energy and feelings towards this person. So we have the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like you're having a hard time believing that this person is genuine or authentic or honest. It just kind of looks like you need to get to know them a little bit more, to be honest with you, Sagittarius. You know, I feel like you need to get to know them a little bit more. I feel like you need to open up to them a little bit more. Um, also, you kind of you have to let this person show you who they are. You can't come up with judgments or or narratives. You know, you can't create narratives about this person without fully getting to know them. This feels like a new type of energy, by the way. I am getting a new vibe from this person. Because I'm not really seeing any red flags. This person looks like they have good intentions with you, but I don't think you believe it with the King of Swords. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. I feel like you're having a hard time believing what this person is um, putting on the table or what they're showing you or presenting to you or expressing to you. Um, you're just very cautious. And it might have a lot to do because of a previous negative experience that you went through in love, okay? All right, let's see. Sorry about that noise. There's a speaker outside. Sorry. Let's see their next actions toward you. Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward, please? What actions will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward? All right, so looking at their actions, we do have temperance card here. That's nice, that is your energy. I feel like this person is trying to like work together with you. Like I feel like they're trying to be compassionate with you. They're trying to be caring, understanding, patient. That's good. You know, I feel like this person is going to bring a lot of healing energy into your life. I'm already noticing that here. This, this heartbreak that you're carrying, um, this person is going to... There's, this person is going to bring you a lot of healing. They're going to help you heal from this broken heart. They are. You're, you're, you are understandably cautious. You're understandably cautious. But it's just a matter of time before you let down your guard because I'm already noticing that. I'm already noticing that. <clears throat> Especially with the strength card here. 
um, this is telling me that you don't want to be this way. You know, you, you don't want to be in this King of Swords energy. You know, that's, that's just not who you are. That's just not who you want to be. You want to be someone who is warm and loving and inviting and receptive with the, with the strength card. This is the energy of someone who's warm, receptive, trusting. You want to trust this person. But it just kind of looks like it's going to take time. However, because we have temperance twice, um, I don't feel like it's going to take that much time, you know? I feel like um, things are going to turn around in this relationship for the better sooner than you expected and sooner than they expected is what I'm getting, okay? So... Yeah, I don't feel like you need to do anything, honestly. I feel like just keep being the way you're being because I feel like this person is going to... Um, this person is going to, like, take control, you know? I feel like this person is going to take it upon themselves to do extra, to compensate for you because they really want to be with you, because they really value you and they see the potential between the two of you and they're determined to make it happen. So I feel like this person is going to compensate for, for what you're not bringing forward, the energy that you're not bringing forward. And that's going to show you everything you need to know about this person, you know? That's, that's going to prove to you that this person is serious about you. Otherwise, they wouldn't be going the extra mile for you. Okay? So I, I see success here, for sure. I see a lot of success and a lot of um, beautiful potential here between you and this person. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.